Hello everybody. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about uh, how to uh, cut uh, the watercolor paper. Uh, watercolor paper, as we all know, is pretty thick and um, I'm using only the 300 uh, GSM uh, thickness, uh, preferably uh, the 100% cotton, which means that it's not as easy to cut. Uh, but um, and usually we like the buckle edge. Um, so uh, I will do a quick um, uh, demo how uh, I cut my paper. Uh, um, this is just a small uh, sheet of paper, an A5. I have a mark here the, at both sides. Uh, it's 7 centimeters, 20, 10, 21 centimeters uh, in total. I'm going to divide it into three. So it's 7, 14, 21. Uh, same I did here too. And then I fold it on uh, where I have marked it. Now th th this is uh, a, a small paper so it's easy to fold and uh, I shouldn't have done it like this. I should have done it this way. So I put my ruler here on the marks that I've done and then fold it. Same on the other side. I line up my ruler on the two marks and I fold. Once I have the main uh, folds, uh, I'll go in with just any smooth um, tool that I find in front of me. And I found this one, I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> Probably from a kid's toys or something, I don't know, but it's perfect for what I wanted. So I fold it one side and I score it like this. I fold on the other side, like this. So we score it at both sides, the, the top, this side, and then this side. Okay, so I have done both sides now. Now the next part is, some people can go in and line up with a ruler and just pull and tear. Uh, I don't have, if I had my um, metal ruler, probably would have done that, but uh, because I don't have my metal ruler handy, I will do, I will show you how I would do a bigger sheet of paper. Let's just go and I put some water on where I have marked it and scored. This on the one side. Turning that upside down, clean water again, on the one side, clean water on the other side. We can wait a little bit, maybe a couple minutes for the water to be soaked. As you can tell now, it's gone really soft and flimsy. The water is getting absorbed exactly where it's been scored. We're putting back our ruler and we cut it like butter. Perfect. Now uh, I cut those small ones because um, I'm going to need them for a mini uh, journal, uh, a mini uh, sketchbook. Uh, or you could even use them as um, bookmarks, probably, yeah, that side. So I will keep on, uh, I've got another three pages to do. Uh, this one I have already scored, actually. I didn't do it with my, this tool because I didn't have it. So let me go in. Oops, this one's going to be a little bit troublesome because I, asked, I marked it wrongly. Let's 
Open this and have another one here. We'd like to cut. And tomorrow I will be maybe tomorrow the day after tomorrow we'll be doing a, a mini uh, book bi binding. Book. So we'll turn it the other way. So turn this way. Perfect. Just put some water. The water will sink in the groove where we have damaged the paper. It's really flimsy, we can fill it, it gets softer. There's more water, we can just dry it up. Lining up the ruler. Okay, the other one cut easier. Nice buckled edge. Well, now those papers are all different ones because I'm going to be doing um, my mini sketchbook is going to have different kind of papers. So this is the a uh, spectrum, uh, the rough paper. This one was. Um, the old student grade is the Montmartre premium one. And now this the last one is the Ribs Cold Press. The old stu student grade. But um, I did, didn't I? Yes. So I can show you quickly what I, I tend to do. Because I've made another mini one already for a practice run Perfect. So that's how I'm cutting my paper. And I will show you why I cut them so small because I've got, uh, I'm just making a little mini palette and uh, it's going to have this mini um, booklet. So can, and that's the size of the papers. So I can just have it in my purse at any time. And here's gonna be oh, I'm giving away <laughs> my mini palette. Um, so yeah, that that's gonna be another um, video. I'm gonna be uh, be showing you. But the first one, it was how to cut the paper. So make sure you score it first. First, you, um, you, you mark the paper where the, the, the size that you want to cut it. Then you score it. Then you make sure you're, that you are pressing of all sides with a tool or even with a spoon. Anything that it's round or even with your brush you could actually be doing i'll show you now uh you could be doing this for example oh, no, no, i don't want to okay yeah, yeah you could be doing this just rolling with your brush okay so you can do lots of different uh, ways you mark it and then you put clear water ruler and pull and that was it for today 
nice and short hopefully very useful and i will see you again at my next video thank you very much for watching me bye for now